NetFab 2025 has a major improvement to how parts are duplicated. Here I have two parts in a build platform of 300 by 300 by 300. If I look at this model from the top view and select the red part on the bottom and go to the duplicate, I can use the fill by count and choose the spacing type as spacing between bounding boxes. If I want to duplicate my part along the x-axis, I can control the total count and put in a gap between the bounding boxes of the parts. NetFab shows me the expected outcome, which is roughly 220 millimeters, if I have two total parts. The moment I go to three parts, NetFab shows me that my total size will be roughly 340 millimeters and my duplication will exceed the platform size. If I hit OK, you will see that my third part is beyond the boundary of the platform. With the 2025 release of NetFab, we have a new method to duplicate our parts. If I go to the same fill by total count, choose the x-axis to duplicate my parts with a gap of 5 millimeters. This time, I'm going to use the new distance type, which is the spacing between part surfaces, and then type in 2. And you will see that I am now less than 200 millimeters. And if I even add a third part, I'm still within the boundary. If I hit OK, you can see that these parts are closely packed together and the gap is not measured between the bounding boxes of the parts. So let's hide the platform visibility to get a better look. Here, these two parts at the bottom, the gap is between the bounding boxes of the parts, but that actually puts a very large gap between the parts in terms of you know, where they're going to touch. Here, we have a much tighter pack, and in fact, the bounding boxes of the parts are overlapping, but that doesn't mean the parts are touching. That means there's still a five millimeter gap between the parts, um, and therefore I can pack a, my parts much more effectively using this duplication method. The other improvement is when duplicating our parts, regardless of whether we use the same position or the fill by build volume or the fill by total count, you will see that I now have the ability to save my settings and recall them later. So if I often find myself using the spacing between parts in the X, Y, or Z with a certain gap, I can save that. And save that. And next time I want to duplicate my parts, after selecting a part and going to that setting, I can jump directly to the 5 by surface and all my settings are recalled. Using these new options, I can more effectively duplicate my parts and save my preferences.